Welcome to today's web series episode for JetTrack Fire Inspection for desktop and mobile devices. My name is Dean Witherston. I'm one of the FileMaker developers who put this app together and I hope to give you some basic insight into how it works and the recommended methods as there are often more than one. Today's topic is data entry and we're looking at data entry in the context of clients and all those associated records such as um, properties, buildings and contacts and this is on the desktop layout. What you're looking at right now is one of the current records that we have with a couple of different uh, uh, records for properties, for buildings. To the right you have some contacts here and also uh, previous or in progress work orders. You can also add a logo if you have one, um, otherwise just leave that out. Um, you have some filtering options on the summary tab here. If I click on the property itself, uh, you'll see a few things happening and it is actually filtering uh, just the buildings underneath that property as well as the contacts. Um, I'll do it again and you can see the same thing happening uh, for the second property on this list. You also might have noticed that the uh, Google Map here has changed to the location of this new property we just clicked on. Let's go back to all records and let me just give you a quick tour of the other tabs that we have. Clients is uh, more details on the, on the particular client and there's a few different e extra areas that you can add notes to and uh, you can actually add uh, a new contact that is um, going to be uh, linked to just, con just the, the client in this case um, as well as a big map to the right. Going over to properties and buildings, uh, you have two lists here. Um, at the top are all the properties that we've added and all the buildings itself. Um, uh, you can uh, you have the options to uh, click on a link on each of the properties as well as buildings too to go to more details about about them and here you can see some general notes and some specific contacts um, as well as images can be added. Uh, let's just go back to clients for now. As I say, the same thing for for buildings. Um, going over to the contacts. We have a running list here of all the contacts we've added and some options at the top to filter by a specific uh, role. You can see as I'm doing it, you're just seeing those specific roles. Uh, let's X out to, to bring everything back and also at the, the bottom right here you can add contacts here as well. Uh, let's go back over to the summary uh, tab. Uh, this is often uh, kind of your go-to area to to see things as well as add new things. So I'm going to go ahead and add down at the bottom here you see this new button. I'm going to go ahead and pick the, the property option and to speed things up I'm going to speed up the, the adding of the information. Once you get to the bottom you have some uh, optional uh, property notes to add. I think I'm good. I'm going to click OK and you'll see the update in the background here. There's a new property that's been added. Let's go ahead and add a new building as well. And now that we've added that property, we'll see it in the list. And let's go and speed things up again. Once you get to the end, uh, you have some choices. You can stay on this window by clicking the plus and add a new uh, building to this property. Or you can click on done to leave the window entirely. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right, I'll scroll down on my buildings. You can see the new one added there at the end. One more thing, let's add a new contact. And we're going to give them a role with the property and the building. Let me just choose the correct property. And there we have our new building. Go to next. I'll speed things up again. Down at the end I've got some optional notes to add for this uh, new contact. I'll leave that for now. Click OK. You'll see the new uh, person, Adam Smart, has been added to this list. Let's go ahead and go back to the summary tab. And you'll see, scrolling down here, you'll see he's added here too. Let's go ahead and click on the actual property. And you'll see some filtering happening. 
let's uh, show all records go back there we go and you see the new building ID and uh, the other detail and the new contact is Adam uh, that pretty much concludes the end of our video um, thank you for watching our presentation on this uh, data entry in JetTrack fire inspection stay tuned for future videos that we're going to be adding to the series for now goodbye and see you later